Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video, and I am over in New World, and I'm just here to give you a quick little tip on how to properly dodge. Now, this is useful in mostly PvE, sometimes in PvP, however, it is actually something that is not used commonly enough. So, basically all you're going to do is hit your shift button. Now, there's a bunch of different types of dodge, left, right, back, forth. Obviously, it depends on which armor you have for the actual roll that you're going to get off of it. However, left and right seem to be the most accurate for avoiding attacks because backwards there's a lot of attacks that move straight forwards in a line. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I mean by that. So right here we have ourselves a Sierra Wildcat. Now this is my second character, so that's why I'm a little bit lower leveled. Now you can see right before they're about to attack, like that right there, you're going to dodge. Now it's not something that you want to do while they're in their attack. You want to try and do it ahead of time because what happens is uh, they kind of have a predetermined animation, if you want to call it that. So as long as you're dodging, you can see me doing it right there before they look like they're going to attack. It's actually a very successful way to avoid. So right there, you see any sort of movement towards you, you can avoid it and take zero damage. Now you can double dodge like you just saw right there, as long as you don't have that roll present. So we're going to go ahead and double dodge there. Oh, there, he still got us. But you can see that dodging early does not matter. Dodging too late, however, will get you in trouble. I'll go and show you what I mean by that. So if I'm waiting, you saw that animation happen right there. If I wait for the animation to actually happen when I'm dodging, I am going to get hit by this creature. However, if I am dodging beforehand like that, he is going to attack where I was because that's just part of the video game. So you want to dodge earlier rather than later because if you dodge too late, you're going to dodge after he hits you. And that's just because there's two things. One, there's a ping factor of you connecting to the server. And two, there is a second factor of you actually quite literally um, having a little bit of a response time issue. Uh, that's just because you're a human, not perfect. You're not a machine um, like this thing is and you just want to be able to move left and right out of its way. So now while you're doing that, you can do it while you're attacking. However, I suggest taking a break in your attack. And every time you think they're about to attack you, there is no negative side to dodging. It's just an extra movement. So you can just dodge constantly and your your stamina bar goes up pretty quickly when it comes to dodging. So you can basically always have full health. Now I was just purposely taking damage there so you could see. But that being said, it's actually really easy to dodge. Same thing with archers too. You can kind of tell when they're going to pull it. Same thing with muskets. Even in PvP situations, this kind of trick is really useful because you can kind of see it here. So here's the archer. He's going to pull up his arrows here in a second. And then you can kind of move to the left and right and you'll see him pull back again and then you can easily dodge left and right now you can do the double like I just did right there and that's an easy thing to do with archers however moving left and right seems to make it almost impossible for them to hit you as long as you don't stop in the middle of them releasing their arrow so archers are really easy to dodge um, but I haven't really tried super hard yet now you can see there you go it'll curve in the air because it is a game so it's trying to actually hit you still um, because it's like the animation was locked onto you. So the easiest way to avoid archers is before you think they're going to release, start dodging and use that double technique and you will be able to easily pretty much dodge everything. Now it comes to the same thing with swordsmen. Try and predict them just like you would wildlife. Avoid that first hit. So like you can see he does that jump attack. Now these guys are a little bit of a pain in the butt because they quite literally have a moving never stopping attack because just like you see right there so you kind of have to avoid constantly with these things um, and the best way to do that in my opinion is to kind of use your speed and then build an area like he's not very fast these the in-game archers are much quicker when it comes to actually attacking you but these guys as long as you're using that dodge before they do their animations you will not get hit by them so you can see me right here I'm waiting and I'm gonna do that dodge and uh, he's got that jump dodge. So as long as you're constantly dodging, it's very hard for the in-game things to actually hit you. Um, and especially like these kind of guys, they usually drop some pretty awesome stuff. So you can't complain too much about that. So there's another archer. Use the dodge. It's really useful. Try and use it ahead of time. And that's one of the biggest suggestions I have, especially as healer in PvP fights. Um, people will try and show up to you pretty often. Using that dodge is one of the most useful things you can do. So anyways, hope this little tip helps you out and teach. Yeah.